Hi friends, this yellow background is a label actually and we have given a higher size of width, width of 20 and height of 5 because we want to align the, our text within the label at different different directions. So we will learn about that. For that we have a set of radio buttons to align this plus 2 net string whatever you have written. If I will change this, I can move the uh, this particular string also and place it on different different direction it is on based on north south east west this and the combination of that so i can move it based on this selection so we'll learn how to align the text within a label this is our blank window we have just used 400 by 250 this is the size of the window and here is our blank window we'll close this and from here we'll start so let's uh, give a font one a higher size font we'll use so it will be visible easily so i'm saying font family now what's the size 22 and it is normal you can use bold italic anything you can you want so this is my font now let's place the label first l1 this is my label now this is the label inside that my underscore w this is my parents window declared at line number three so you, you will find it mostly to use as root we use it as my underscore w <coughs> now let's write the text <coughs> this text is whatever you want to write i am writing plus to net <coughs> now what is the background slightly to make it a different distinctly visible so i am saying yellow yellow background now i'll say font font equal to font one what i have declared above so this is there now uh, let's place it over a give a height our height we are giving it is five height means five rows data because font is also more height is more so it will be stretched a bit height will be more now width we are going up to 20 so this is the one and i am intentionally specifying though it is a default value is anchor is center anchor means which side the text will be i am saying anchor equal to now here i am saying center just for it is by default it is the same value so you can ignore it also so let's just now place it on our grid so grid you know it is row equal to zero this is the first element so i am using that way and column equal to zero and column span i am giving nine why i am giving nine because below that i will be writing nine radio buttons for different different aligned uh, text in different directions so those nine I, I i don't want that that should be accommodated along with the label so i am giving column span as nine so this should span till nine so below the next row i can put nine radio buttons whereas the uh, vertical alignment will remain the same now let me just give pad x equal to 20 sorry 20 and pad y let's give 20 so this slightly i'm not flushing with the left edge uh, so giving 20 space and from the top edge pad y is also 20 now let me just save this and run once and see up to this the blank window should come up here it is and you can see here the text is at the center by default it is and this entire yellow background is my label here below this i will have that radio buttons which will occupy cell one cell two uh, sorry column column one column two column three like that up to nine so i have given the con span for the nine so, so the label should stretch up to nine uh, columns let's create a string variable because that will be associated with our all our radio buttons so i am giving r1 underscore b because it's connected to radio button so i start with r1 and uh, now what it is it is a tk dot string variable yeah and we'll give a default value if you want you can give it or let's use a set method so r1 underscore v dot set where it, set means it's the initial value i am saying center by default it is center i am just setting it here you can remove this also this part can be removed this is for our understanding that this anchor is one of the option uh, or the attribute available for us to manage now inside this i will write a function so i am saying diff uh, my update i am saying my update inside this one line only i will write i am saying that first uh, what is the how i will read the value of this string variable and then that string variable i will uh, i will set the value for the uh, anchor option so for that i will say l1 
dot config this config or configure both are same and config means which attribute I am configuring I am configuring anchor this particular one with what value I am saying r1 underscore v and then get so whatever the value of it you configure that because all my radio buttons will pass on the values to this so what which radio button I have selected that particular value will come here and that value will be updated so accordingly it will take the shape so for that purpose now now it is my my script is ready but where is my radio buttons now we'll add the radio buttons here let's add one so we'll give the radio button name as r1 equal to tk dot radio button because it's a group of radio buttons so the variable will remain same and the values only value part only will keep on changing so based on that only it will so this say r1 now i'll say it's parent window my underscore w what should be the text written over that i am telling it is not n so side of it i will say variable equal to now this variable note that i am connecting it to the my string variable what i declared at line number nine here at the top so that i am connecting and all my radio, uh, radio buttons will have the same variable because it's a one set of value but each radio button have its own value so this value i am saying it set it to n and i am giving a command whenever this button is uh, clicked run my update so this is where I, the main key lies okay let me first place it on the grid r1 dot grid now here i am saying row equal to 1 because 0 is where my label is so next row below that i am writing 1 and column i am starting from 0 so 0 but note that we have column span of 9 for the label here so 0 next radio button will be column 1 column 2 so this will be accommodated there now this is my one radio button now you, you just see this radio button i have given is a text only the value i have given is n so whenever this button is clicked this value will pass to this and this will get and accordingly the anchor will be the con uh, configure method will uh, will change the alignment now even this also we can test it let's just see with one radio button how this works so i am just giving by default it is at the center so i am just clicking this so you can see it has lifted up it because the value moment i click this this particular function l1 config anchor this one r1v receives the data and it is says n so this assigned the alignment value sorry the anchor value to n we have just copied this radio button and i am just placing it another eight radio buttons so given the name r2 r2 and note that every time i am changing the column value to one two so next right two of it right of it so column three column four and the most important is i am changing the this text and this value so whenever the, every radio button carries its own unique value so and but the command is same so anything is changed this particular value is carried to the this one reads that so it is the any means north and east east this is only east next one then the southeast center it is by default then south southwest west and northwest so these values i have set it here so and note that all are having the common variable so the, because it's a it's a one set of radio button so because radio button once i am click selected one the other one has to be deselected so that is the reason we have and that's the basic difference between a radio button or a check button if you are using or check boxes your check box you can go for multiple but in a radio button one at a time can be selected so let's just run this and see how this here it is you can see all the radio buttons it is displayed by default it is at the center now northwest northwest now north now i can come to northeast now i let me go to southwest now the west here then again whatever it is i can bring it to center also this is how within this label the text i can align by changing the aligned option of the label so that's all friends there was some uh, questions on this also so uh, i thought better to put it in this way and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add the new new tutorials we frequently do that and if you have any doubt suggestion questions or any ideas use the comment section below and post it thank you for watching